you the biggest sports stories of the day. <laughs> At 19 years of age, he's already made his debut with the Uganda Cranes. And uh, guess what? He's won lots and lots of titles with KCCA FC. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege and honor to have a very distinguished gentleman in studio. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to him. He's going to talk to us extensively about his career and everything. And if you're out there and you have questions for this gentleman, feel free to go on our socials, especially Facebook, Radio City, 97 of M. Post your comment there and we'll be glad gladly gladly ready to read it out but for starters good evening man thank you for giving it radio city 97 fm this is sports world um the biggest sports show where of course you get to listen to all the biggest sports headlines across the world yes every evening do this every day at 7 p.m every week the monday to friday uh, so you not being on the show is suddenly not very very good news all right um without any further ado ladies and gentlemen alan okello is with me here and um i'm so happy to have you alan huh? thank you thank okay you, thank you. um it's 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 been a hassle to get you here um you did not show up on our previous appointment i think you'll begin with an apology uh for the fans out there who are waiting for you but nonetheless we're happy that you're here yeah yeah i had to be here today yeah yeah, it's a great honor to be here today. Absolutely. Radio City 97 FM welcomes you. All right, so Alan, um, oh boy, I, I don't know if you sit back and, uh, you know, listen to your coach speak and listen and read all these comments on social media and everything. You are the most talked about and uh, touted as one of the best footballers right now in Ugandan football. And um, the good thing is that so many people have seen your eyes, you know, come through. Um, you know, I know you went to Chibuli and all, uh, but for all the time you've played football, so many people have seen you as a promising talent that is coming up. Let's begin from there. Are you a promising talent, Alan Okelo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to say something about that. Yeah. Uh, those are people's opinions. Yes. Uh, like, what I mean is like, their opinions are good for me yes <laughs> so motivational for me yeah uh it gives me more courage confidence uh to work more hard to be yeah. where i am today all right very interesting so um who is alan okello briefly and um how have you reached this stage where you are right now uh, yeah if i start talking about alan okello yes <laughs> we shall sleep here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. briefly. Uh, <laughs> briefly, briefly. I know you went to Chibuli and all, but um, I mean, h- how did you, you know, get into football and stuff? Yeah, I started my football journey back in the village. Yes. In Lira. Yes. Thanks goes to my coach, Coach Bobby. Yes. Uh, he brought us up when we were still young kids and uh, everything went on as well because I came from a footballing family. Wow. Yeah, my dad was a footballer too. Okay. Yeah, my uncle played for some good uh, teams in Kampala. Yeah. Yes. One of them is KCC here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. And so he's not a legend. A uh, legend, I mean. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I think I'm trying to do much more better than him. Oh. I'm trying to prove him wrong, maybe. <laughs> By winning accolades, yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, you've done your secondary at Chibuli, right? Yeah, yeah. I was there at Chibuli. I went to Chibuli for my senior one. Yes. And uh, I was there for six years. Wow. Yeah. And the six years there, you did you win any? Did you win any school titles? Yeah, of course. Uh, we won the 2016 Copa Copa Cola. Yep. I was voted the MVP of that year. Yeah. I need to thank my coach at Chivuli, Coach Tembo, and uh, Coach Abudara. Yes. Because Coach Abudara <laughs> gave me the chance to start playing football at Chivuli. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Very, very good that uh, you don't remember, you don't forget your past. Of course, I can't forget. That. Okay. All right. Um. So, so let's move on. Um. I personally saw you in the junior league. Um. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I can't say I covered all the games that you played in, but um. A very, very a uh, good friend of mine who is also a journalist and a colleague Joel Muita um if, if i don't know if you if you go on his socials he still has your picture with yeah, him standing yeah i know i know about him <laughs> yeah he actually uh, wrote official on his page and said this is the next big thing in Ghana football and at the time 
we, 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 we did not really look into that a lot. Um, tell us about that journey of playing in, in the junior league and then boom, Coach Mike Kumte, he throws you in the, in, at the deep end to play for the senior team. Yeah, my journey started in the junior league like when I was at Chiboli studying. Yep. And Coach Mubiro by then was the coach of KCCA. Yes. Yeah. And uh, junior league was going to start. Yes. And by then, Coach Mubiru needed the junior players. But unfortunately, Coach Mubiru left uh, when I had not yet started playing. Yes. And Coach Mike replaced Coach Mubiru. Yes. So I got an opportunity when Coach included me in the junior team. And uh, did my best. Did my best. Coach always uh, gave me the confidence of telling me one day I will make it. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> alone. We were many. We were quite many. By that, that was my next question. Um, yeah. uh, uh, please list down for me some of the players that you joined the junior league with when you're playing for KCCA FC. Yeah, we were quite many by then. I think by then we were ten. Yes, you, Mustafa Kiza, Poloti Julius, yes. Kenya Lawrence, yes. uh, Ben Chan Philbert, yeah, Magambo, Peter, Wow, <laughs> Sarah <Da> Steven, <laughs> uh, Noel Nasasira, Willa yep. Paul, yes, uh, Chikonyogo Ronald, Poloto Julius, and all these players are now playing in the different teams in the in the Uganda yeah. Premier League. Yeah, and Kenya is at Wakiso Giants on loan. Um, you at KCC, you you know staff and Poloto are there, and then Magambo is also there. Um, uh, uh, my next question should be: How important uh, or, or uh, what would be your your take on uh, Mike Mutebi and? the impact he has created with the youth in Ugandan football. Yeah, it's a great honor for Coach Mike to give us young players chances to play. Yeah. Uh, we never thought that that would happen in Ugandan football. But okay. <laughs> with the belief of the coach. Yes. Uh, I wish I wish Coach had made us together up to today. Many players, are, uh, young players have left the team. I wish we had Willa. I wish we had, we still had the uh, lights of Chikonyogo in the team. Yeah. Yeah, but you know his performance you need to keep up always yeah, absolutely yeah and yeah. Uh, coach is so strict with the performance yeah even me if i were, if i wasn't performing well i would not be in that team i think <laughs> <laughs> let's get to your debut um was against sundu paraka if you remember correctly you'll correct me but i think i remember watching against sundu paraka and scoring um or, 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 or in that game uh, what has kept alan okello up from the time when he started playing for kcc fc uh, the senior team up until now yeah of course i want to say is believe and hard work okay you always have to believe in yourself uh no one will believe in you if you are not believing in yourself so the, uh, one of the advice i give to my fellow young players is yeah it's time okay. time will come your time will come you always have to stay focused and keep on working hard God is always the answer. It will make the right time for us. All right. Um, you, you talk about God and you, t- you talk about uh, working hard. Has uh, KCCA FC as a club given you the right environment? And um, has it really been the right platform for you to become the Alan Okello you are today? Uh, I think I'm not yet what I am to, what I want to be. Okay, fantastic. Because uh, I have a lot of ambitions. Okay. It's not my ambition to play in uh, Uganda League yeah. from year to year. Uh, of course, I want to always do much harder and play professional. Yep. Uh, but KCC has given us a great platform for that. And I hope that one day we are going to make it. I, it's all the patience and time. We are going to make it. We need to stay focused for that. All right. For the time you've been at KCC FC, what titles have you won, Alan Okero? I'm sure you know, the, you know, the, you know that, surely. Yeah, I guess I guess I know that. Uh, yeah. I guess I have uh, the Uganda Cup. Let me know. Yeah, you the that. Uganda Cup to uh-huh. two championships. Yeah, uh, the league championships. Yeah, uh, the best one was qualifying for the qualifying for the Champions League and Confederation. Yeah, Sekafa was yeah. good. <laughs> uh, Live alone the place in the tournament, yes, the yes. super cups. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. these are quite little, and uh, a, a team like SL really has to be like in the Sekafa winning side tournaments. Yeah, though we need to improve on our 
Champions League games, the cup games. Yeah, absolutely. That takes me to uh, playing on the continent. Um, at some point, Mike Mutebi decided to use young players to play on the continent, and there was a lot of criticism, and uh, so many thought it would not actually work out. As the young players were given the chance, what was running through your minds? When, when when you knew that you're the ones going to play on the continent because it's a big stage yeah first of all what i know about coach yes he's a very risky taker yes takes a lot of risk and uh, the best of all he always takes risks and he's always getting through that but coach putting giving the young players chances i don't want to say that it was bad or good but it was a great opinion, opportunity, uh, like uh, opinion for him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and a great opportunity for us young players to showcase our talent. Yeah, yeah, it makes us, it gives us the confidence to keep on fighting for more. Okay, quite good experience. Yeah. And 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 you, you you've played against uh, very big teams on the African continent. You played against Salahli. You played against Pamelodi Sundowns. You've played against so many teams. Could you name probably two opponents that you really say these ones gave me a very hard time, or probably two teams that you say this was a hassle for KCC FC? Yeah, I have to say that the best team I've ever played against, yes, is Esperance. Esperance of Tunisia. Uh, yeah, from Tunisia. Yeah. These guys beat us home and away from Kampala and from Tunisia. Yeah, they really sh- showed us that. We had to keep on doing something more. We are missing something. Okay. Yeah. So, and by the way, they always beat and beat us, and they always take the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Each time they beat you, they they, they go on to win the, the, the yeah, Champions League. Yeah. Always they beat them in the finals. Yeah. 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 But it it was a very it was a, it's a very big team in Africa. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, the other team is uh, the recent team we played was. Paradu? Yes. Yeah, it also gave us a great challenge. <laughs> yeah. Away. <laughs> Away from home. Yeah, yes. and it really showed us that we need to do something quite more and improve in our game. All right. Uh, very, very good. Now, we we know that Alan Okello had a short stint uh, in Europe. I mean, you're supposed to go professional and uh, somewhere, somehow that did come through. Um, how, how was the experience like? And uh, if you don't mind uh, sharing, um, what really happened? Uh, for sure, I yeah. don't know what really happened. Okay. And uh, I can't talk about uh, what I don't know. Okay, but absolutely, yeah. But I have to talk about the experience I got from there. Yes. Uh, this was a great experience. I really felt like I really want to do it more and more. Uh, though I'm missing it now. Because these guys are going through something that we in Uganda are really missing a lot. Okay. I really need someone to, I really need someone to help us in this. Yes. I, I can't just talk about the experience. That will take long. I want. I don't want to say that the the training the training session goes like this and this. Uh, that will take us long. But, but there was the, but there was a huge difference in the way everything is done. Yeah, in, it was in really Uganda different. and in and in Switzerland. Basically, the yeah. trainings, uh, the, the the attitude, the way everything is done. There's a huge difference. And and would you say? Would I be wrong to say that uh, that's your immediate target, going professional as soon as possible? Yeah, of course, uh, I need to go as soon as possible. The more time I delay, the more time I'm wasting. <laughs> Though sometimes they say patient pays, but pain. But it's not all about patience. You need to go to Europe. You need to go professional. Yeah. Mostly Europe when you're still young. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, more, more of all when you're from a country like Uganda. Yeah. You need to go there when you're still young. Because these guys are doing a lot and we are missing a lot yeah so you need to learn much right. more earlier oh, there you go if you're joining us here on radio city 97 fm you're listening to sports world and uh in studio is kcc fc midfielder alan okello um who is uh the main man in ugandan football that i have to say talked about by so many loved by so many if you're at the mandela national stadium on sunday you would agree with me that uh when uh <laughs> his shirt number went up 
for him to come in everyone stood up and did clap for him uh you know to come through and uh you know play some football uh so alan that takes us to a very interesting topic um you've been with the uganda cranes now for quite a while by the way you've played for the junior side as well uh the under 23 the under 20 um to the senior team now where you made your debut on sunday um let's start with how you felt when you took off that bib to actually walk onto the pitch and play for uganda cranes yeah it was a great opportunity for me yeah. but when i took off that beep when yeah. i was going to get in yeah i have to say that i was quite so nervous wow yeah i had, I had that little pressure yeah what i was going to deliver in the pitch it was my first game for the international team yeah this is the biggest opportunity in my life i've ever gotten yeah i want it to be always on and on and yeah, I will work more hard and be there. Uh, and what did John McInstry tell you? Usually we don't listen to what the coaches tell the players when they're getting on. I imagine he's telling you, make sure you defend, make sure you run back. What exactly did he tell you before you came onto the pitch? Yeah, when I was getting in, the team, were, uh, the team was leading 1-0. Yes. The coach had to tell me that, Alan, go and do everything you know. Go and be free in the pitch. Do what you know. Do what you always do and do what you always do best be free don't get the pressure inside okay uh the coach gave me a lot of confidence wow yeah he really motivated me when i was coming in yeah so i had to come in the pitch and try my best <laughs> and uh talk about the the, the 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 experience you picked up from you know the uganda cranes players your teammates the faruk mias and everyone in the team how big and how big of an influence have they been since you actually did, you know af- after that game after everything ended how big of an influence have they been yeah these guys are so friendly they're not they're not that they're so friendly that's what i have to say yeah and uh, they really give good advices to the young players yeah and uh, they, do, they do things that quite surprise us when uh, the local players yeah but they you advise need, you here and there and, they, and guide you and uh, you know tell you what decisions to make in life yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And right. that was the right thing for us to do okay yeah absolutely all right you can definitely call in on Niger line 0786 for you to talk to alan okello but alan we have lots of reactions on facebook and we're going to be running through those at chom viola uh saying would first like to thank alan okello for the discipline and hard work the question is where do you see yourself in five years and paint a picture of the uganda premier league right now ah uh, where i see my myself in five years yeah ah, five years are too many you'll be 24 years <laughs> yeah i would be 24 by then yeah uh i think in three years yeah three years time i won't be playing in the ugandan league yeah I think I will be trying another opportunity somewhere in some other league. Okay. But I uh, hope it will be professionally. Yeah. A big team. Yeah, I'm still working hard on that. Okay. Yeah. And let's clear. This is a, the usual questions, you know, listeners ask. Which team do you support in Europe? I support Man United in Europe. <laughs> and and the, I like Barcelona. And you like Barcelona? Yeah. That kills my next question. I was going to ask between Messi and Ronaldo who is your best, but that's obvious. Obvious. Yeah. Obvious I have to say. I like Messi. Okay. Messi is someone kind of another thing. <laughs> Every player right now needs to work more hard to play like Ronaldo because yeah. I think Messi is the only Messi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is no other Messi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Radio City, good evening. Good evening, Peter. Yes, how are you, bro? I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, yes, who is this? Zentebe. I beg your pardon? Francis Zentebe. Yes, Francis. Uh, first of all, thank you for bringing in Okelo. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you for appreciating. Uh, and uh, we really thank what you, we appreciate what he's doing in as a young player. Yes. And uh, we think so that young lads around the country should also pick up from him. Okay. And uh, if we can get some young lad like him, yes, these are our future players. <laughs> these are our future players we rely on, thinking that one day they will deliver for us the trophy in African Cup of Nations. And uh, we don't forget Mike Muchesi. Yes, he has brought very many young players. And I normally say, 
if those players, young players, are um, they are brought in, if you keep them together for some like five years, yes, the like of uh, uh, Tito Kelo, I don't know where Tito Kelo is nowadays. He's playing for Vipers. Ah, the Awani and the many others. If they could be together, and well, because we are seeing our our national team, the players are getting old. These are players we are going to rely on in in a Peter. So for Okelo, Okelo, well done, man. Keep on trying hard. You. you shall you shall achieve. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. All right. Cheers, cheers, bro. So, Alan Okello, um, is there any club that you can play for in Uganda apart from KCC FC? <laughs> That's a tough question for me. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it, it, me yeah. as a player, I have to be able to play for every club in every league. Yes. Yeah, but KCC is the biggest club in Uganda right now. <laughs> I'm sure your CEO is really smiling after that big statement that you've made. <laughs> All right, you have a very important title running. I mean, by that I mean before the first round ends. Um, I just wanted to know how important the team is actually looking at these fixtures. I know you all expected to win the game against URA, but you know you didn't manage to do that. Uh, you have four more games to go. How important are these games, and and how do you plan to execute to actually catch up on Vipers? Yeah. The, first of all, we need to win all these matches, but it's not going to be easy for us because you see from uh, yesterday's game, yeah, it wasn't easy. Uh, teams always come to play and prove on our team, KCC, eh? and uh, we are quite prepared, training well for the next matches. Yeah, we as a team we always have to do our best and try much more hard than win games for the team. Yeah, with the teamwork, we are going to do our best and keep on the, keep on winning matches and cover the gaps between Vipers and KCC. All right, let's pick just one uh, final call before we sign out. Radio City, good evening. Hello. Yes, I'm Peter. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Who is this? Uh, Hello. Good evening. Yes, good yes, evening. Good evening. Tau. I'm speaking to Omara, Fela. I'm calling all along from Bale. Yes, Omara. Mm, I want just to thank Alan Othello. Yes. For making us been proud. And the question I want to ask him, has he been called in Lao Province squad for Fuba <laughs> Drum? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. As he answered that, that question, how, 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 David Obu has coached you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how do you rate David Obu as a coach? Fantastic. <laughs> Have you called? Have you been called up for the Lango team? <laughs> yeah, of course I have to be called for. Whether I'm going to be there or not, I have to be called for that team. All right. Um, would really appreciate you, of course, coming through here on Sports World and uh, having a chat with us as we sign out. Uh, I, I'd like you to tell me your best teammate at KCCFC. That's the first question. 